For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem where you have uh, traveling with an initial speed of 70 kilometers per hour. A car accelerates at 6,000 kilometers per hour square along a straight road. How long will it take to reach a speed of 120 kilometers per hour? And also, what is the distance the time the car traveled during this time? So we got that V naught, the starting velocity, is equal to 70 kilometers per hour. We got that the acceleration is equal to 6,000 kilometers per hour squared. That is a lot of acceleration. We got that the final velocity is equal to 120 kilometers per hour. So we're simply going to use this law that says that V is equal to V naught plus AT. This is a law of kinematics for constant acceleration. can only be used if the acceleration is constant and it is and it's given right here. So we just will replace the numbers. V is equal to 120. V0 is equal to 70. The acceleration is 6000. And T is what we're trying to find. When you solve for T, you get that T is equal to 0 0.00833 hours because we're in kilometers per hour. So that is the time that it took to reach this speed. And now we need to find the displacement. For the displacement, we're going to use another law of kinematics that says V squared is equal to V naught squared plus 2 times A times the displacement. Now V, we already have, is at 120 squared. V naught is at 70 squared plus 2. The acceleration is 6,000. And the displacement is what we're trying to find. And when you solve for the displacement, you get that the displacement is equal to 7.792 kilometers. So final answer for the time and final answer for the displacement that it took to reach the speed. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.